What's up guys, TechFlash here and today we're going to compare the S21 Ultra with the previous flagship which is going to be the Note 20 Ultra. Now I want to know whether you want me to compare this device with the S20 Ultra which came uh, in last year because I personally believe that for a perfect comparison we have to compare it with the Note 20 Ultra because in this cell phone many of the problems from the S20 Ultra were already fixed and the rest of them are fixed in the new S21 Ultra. Now before starting this video I want to address the fact that this device really looks nice. The back camera design is something unique and I really like this design. So today we are going to basically do a speed comparison to see which of these devices perform better. Before starting I want to tell you that this is the Exynos variant so it has Exynos 990 out of the box and this is a 12 gigabytes variant also in this case we have exynos 2100 and the ram storage options are similar so it also has the 12 gigabyte variant so the first test that we are going to do is surely going to be the boot up test and we are going to see which of this device boots up faster so for the first test let's perform a boot up as you can see the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra was the first one to show up on the screen However, I personally believe that Galaxy S21 will be the first one to actually turn everything on. And you can also see that there is a difference between the animations. It shows Samsung Galaxy and it is showing Samsung and I was right. You can clearly see that this device actually booted up faster uh, than the Note 20 Ultra. So now it's time to compare the speed of every application's loading time and the first applications that we are going to try are surely going to be the Samsung built-in application. So let's try the dialer app and I personally believe that S21 was a bit faster. Let's try the camera application and in this case as well I personally believe that the S21 Ultra was a bit faster but the comparison cannot be made because both of these devices are performing real great so now we have to go towards the application that are going to be a bit more tasking when we open them so let's try some game let's try Angry Birds 2 and this is going to be a good comparison because both of these games both of these cell phones are providing us some comparison when it comes to loading different applications this will also judge the optimization and you can see that the Angry Birds 2 was faster on the S21 Ultra so yes the Exynos variant is actually performing quite great and yes we are seeing major improvements when it comes to the app loading times as Samsung was saying let's try Subway Surfers And by the way, both these devices are connected to a similar internet and I personally believe that both these cell phones open Subway Surfer at almost the exact same time. So now we are going to try the Temple Run application or the game. And S21 Ultra was even faster on the Temple Run 2 as well, although the difference is quite minimal. By the way, I'm not closing any application and all these uh, games are running in the background. So we can clearly see that both these devices are also going to perform very well when it comes to the multitasking. Let's try PUBG. And in this case as well, we can clearly see that the S21 Ultra is performing better and this is a big difference because now multiple applications are running in the background but still S21 Ultra is having a lead here and uh, you can clearly see that this device is performing better. Okay, if you are not a PUBG lover, we are also going to test out the Call of Duty. And uh, I personally believe that S21 Ultra is already having a bit of a lead here. And uh, I'm very surprised about the fact that S21 Ultra is performing so good in all these departments and it has already loaded the game. And now the Note 20 Ultra has already loaded it. And uh, I want to include here that I'm not saying that Note 20 Ultra is not a powerful device, not that Exynos 990 was a very bad chip. But when the comparisons are made, uh, generally the Snapdragon variant is performing very good. So for that matter, I personally believe that this uh, upgrade is a very big upgrade for every user who was getting an Exynos variant. Now we are going to see how the RAM is performing because uh, it is also one of those things that we need to see and uh, let's go to PUBG and see if it is loaded or not it's already loaded in the memory at least for S21 Ultra and in case of Note 20 it also has the game in the memory so the RAM management on these devices is also very good 
Uh, finally, the thing that I want to address here is going to be the benchmark scores. So for the N22 benchmark, I have already run the N22 benchmark scenario. And by the way, I rerun it just to uh, get the whole situation clear. And one thing that I noticed was the fact that uh, the CPU temperature on the Note 20 Ultra was usually lower when compared to the Exynos uh, 2100. However, it was always performing very well and you can see that uh, the N22 score, at least the organic N22 score, is 639,000 and for the Note 20 Ultra, it's 549,000. So there is a massive difference there. Now, I haven't turned any special modes on. I haven't tinkered with the setting. I haven't had any kind of special cooling. This is just the result that I got on the room temperature. So both these devices are really great but I can clearly say that uh, the S21 Ultra is performing very well when compared to the previous Exynos 990. Also when it comes to the Geekbench we also have some great scores here and you can see that Note 20 Ultra scored uh, 927 for the single core while in this case we have a 1089 also the multi-core score gets a big jump and uh, Exynos 2100 is also 5 nanometer based chipset so we can also expect some great battery life. Now I want to know what are your thoughts on this and I'll catch you in the next one with the camera comparison for both these devices. So if you're new to the channel do subscribe and take care. Goodbye.